Algebra 1, 8.5a, we're still working on systems of equations, and we're going to do motion problems and solve for distance. So our problem-solving guidelines tell us that we need to understand the problem and figure out what it's asking for. We need to develop and carry out a plan. How far, how are we going to solve it? And we need to find the answer and check it to make sure we did it correctly. And for work problems, we've got our strategies. We can draw a diagram, find a pattern, make a table, write an equation. We can even guess and check or work backwards, solve a simpler problem, or use a formula. And in this word problem, we're going to do four things. We're going to draw a diagram, make a table, we're going to write an equation, and we're going to use a formula. Okay? So, D equals RT is the formula for distance, rate, and time. And we're solving for the distance traveled. It's going to equal the rate of speed that we went multiplied by the time it took us. We can change this formula around to suit our needs. We can solve for rate instead of distance. With d over t, the distance divided by the time equals the rate, because all we do is take our d equals our t, our original uh, formula, and we divide both sides by t, and that cancels out the t and eliminates it, and we're left with d over t equals r. See? And we can solve for time with distance divided by rate equals time because we take the original uh, formula d equals rt we divide both sides by r and that eliminates the r and now we're left with the d over r equals t see and distance can be miles kilometers yards feet inches even and so on and rate can be in miles per hour kilometers per hour that's how fast we're going yards per minute feet per second and things along that line. And notice that these rates compared to the formula for rate, the formula for rate was rate is equal to distance divided by time. Well, the rate is equal to miles per hour or kilometers per hour. So instead of this fraction line here for division, that's where the per goes, see? And we've got distance in miles or kilometers or feet or whatever it is per the time, the hour. Isn't that something how that works? And time can be in years, months, weeks, days, hours, minutes, seconds, even milliseconds, even other increments of time. So a train leaves London traveling west at 80 kilometers per hour. And an hour later, another train leaves London. And it's traveling west on a parallel track to the first train, and it's going 120 kilometers per hour. So how far from London will the trains meet? So I'm going to draw a picture. Here's London. Here's the two train tracks that are parallel to each other and a slower train is going 80 kilometers per hour, and a faster train is going 120 kilometers per hour, at what distance from London are they going to be when they're at the same spot, when they meet each other? So we think, what distance from London will the trains meet? The slow train's going 80 kilometers per hour, the fast train's going 120 kilometers per hour, and the fast train leaves one hour after the slow train. See? An hour later the train leaves going 120. See? So it was an hour after the slow train. So we're going to let D equal the distance where the trains are going to meet. That's going to be this line right here. And T is going to be the time for the faster train, the one that's going 120 kilometers per hour. And then T plus 1 is going to be the time for the slower train because it left an hour earlier. It had an hour head start, didn't it? So we're going to plus 1. And making a table helps. We can do distance is equal to rate times time. So remember, this is multiplication right here. This is an equal sign right here. So I put them in parentheses to help me remember that this gets multiplied to that. Here's the slow train. Here's the fast train. Slow train's going at a rate of 80. The fast train's going a rate of 120. And the slow train's time is its time plus an hour. And the fast train is just the time. And each row in this equation, we can write in, a, in this table we can write an equation in the form of d equals rt, can't we? So we end up with, if you look at this, d equals 80 times t plus 1 and d equals 120 times t. So we have d equals 80 times t plus 1 and d equals 120t. Now we have a system of equations and we can use the substitution method to solve this. So we can use this 120 in place of the d in this equation, in the first equation. So instead of d equals 80 times t plus 1, we get 120t equals 80 times t plus 1. 
See? We have to do the distributive property here, don't we? We have to do 80 times t and then 80 times a positive 1. So that gives us 80t plus 80 on that side. And now, when we look at this, we see we have 120t and we have 80t, right? So we can take this 80t away from both sides to start isolating this t over here. 120 take away 80 is 40, so we have 40t. This cancels out as a zero pair, and we end up with 40t equals 80. We divide both sides by this 40 coefficient. It creates our buddy the invisible 1 with the identity property. And then 80 divided by 40 is 2. So the time for the faster train is 2 hours. See? Now we can solve for d by using either equation by plugging this t in as a 2. So in d equals 120t, just use that equation, it's d, the distance, is equal to 120 times 2. That's 240. So both trains will be 240 kilometers from London when they are next to each other on the parallel tracks. And we can check it. We can plug in the 2 into the first equation. So the distance is equal to 80 times t plus 1. So it's 80 times 2 plus 1. That's 80 times 2 plus 80. That's 160 plus 80. That's 240. Yep, it worked. So we can use multiple strategies for one problem if it's going to help us solve it. You don't have to use just one strategy. We could use a bunch of different strategies as long as it helps us. Now in the next video, 8.5b, we're going to be doing more systems of equation and we're going to be solving motion for rate. And if you want a link to word problems where we use the substitution or addition method to figure out which one to use, there'll be a link to that in this description. And if you want to learn how to clear fractions from a system of equations, that's going to be in this video's description also. Okay? It's going to be in the description. And there's going to be intro to algebra word problems. Uh, there's going to be two video links in there for rearranging formulas to fit your needs. So if a formula isn't solving for what you need it to solve, like having to switch it around from rate to time to distance, there'll be some videos in there to show you how to do that, okay? And you can just click on the links. All right, let's go to the next video and I'll show you how to solve for rate. I hope this was helpful. I hope you're doing okay. Bye.